time series analysis. So, what is the time series analysis? Today, we will discuss about it. So, after completing this topic, you will be able to define the basic concept in time series analysis. Second, you can draw time series data and also you can determine the component of time series. And last one, you may explain and apply moving average method in forecasting. First look at an essential aspect of managing any organization is planning for the future. The long-run success of an organization is closely related to how well management is able to anticipate the future and develop appropriate strategies. Therefore, time series analysis is used to forecast the future value. And also, forecasting is an integral part of almost all business enterprise. So look at this example. First, monthly sales of a wholesale shop for the last three years. Second, annual export of palm oil for the last 10 years. Third, daily number of patients registered in emergency unit. And last example is daily production of a cane food at a factory for last five days. So this four example is based on time series data. So, aim of the time series analysis is you want to predict future value. Because based on good forecast, any organization can reduce inventory costs, can minimize personnel costs, and also can increase customer satisfaction. So, forecasting process can be based on educated cash, expert opinions, and also based on past history data. So data for time series analysis known as time series data. We can plot the time series data. So the plot of time series data known as histogram. So how to plot the time series data? We will use this example. Sales from 2015 to 2017 based on first, second, third, and fourth quarter data. So this is the plot of time series data. Make sure write down the title. Exist title. The data from 2015 and 16 also 17. For each year, you have four different quarter. Okay, like that. When you want to plot time series data. In time series analysis, there are time series components. So what is the components? First, trend. Second, seasonal. Third, cyclical. And last one, irregular. Irregular known as random component. First, look at the trend component denoted by capital T. So this one, overall upward or downward pattern over a long period of time. Normally, it's due to population size, technology change, shift in consumer's preference, and also cost of change in income. So trend component is based on several years duration. So, look at this plot. The trend shows the upward trend. Increasing pattern. Okay, next we proceed to second component which is seasonal component denoted by capital S. So, this component is regular pattern of up and down fluctuations. Normally due to weather, customs, festival seasons. And this component occurs within one year. So look at this example. For example, celebration time. So this is seasonal component occur for this data. Okay, third component is cyclical component denoted by capital C. So this one is repeating up and down movement. 
For example, economic cycle of recession and economic boom. Normally, cyclical component is based on business cycle. And usually happen within 2 to 10 years duration of time. So that one is example of cyclical component. Last component is irregular or random component. So this one is unpredictable fluctuations with no definite pattern. For example, flood, earthquake, wars, change in government. So this one is based on short duration but non-repeating. Okay, next, what is decomposition of a time series analysis? Basically, time series analysis is based on time series model. So, first model is multiplicative model. Second model is additive model. But, we focus on multiplicative model. So, forecasting will be based on the trend and seasonal components only. Therefore, y equal t time s. So, based on multiplicative model, which is y equal t times s. So, this one is concept of forecasting using trend and seasonal variation. Okay, so this one is time series value and then x-axis is based on time. Okay, let's see. You want to identify the linear trend time series analysis. So this one is upward trend. So for future, the predicted value is increase. Next, based on linear trend and seasonality time series. Okay. Blue line and red line. So, what happened in the future? Okay. So, the plot here. Decrease. Same as previous pattern. Okay, so that one is concept of forecasting using trend and seasonal variation. Okay, that's all introduction to time series analysis. Next, we focus how to calculate trend values by using moving average method. Assalamualaikum and da.